we have some great news. You're wondering, what the heck are all these boxes doing here? Well, we wanted to show you guys the great reveal for the uh, Eastern PA Shop Hop Walk in the Woods. It's going to start October 27th and run through November 11th. That way, it'll give you guys some time to take advantage of the, what is that, daylight savings time and get some more hours in for traveling before the hour changes. You're gonna check your passport listings for different stores because different stores will have different hours of operation. And only, I believe, two or three stores will be open on Sundays for your convenience. Passport sales begin September 1st. Keep that in mind, they are $8. So you say, what the heck is the Shop Hop all about? Well. Basically, you need to buy a passport. That is the ticket for admission. Uh, with that, you get a passport that looks like this. In addition to that, when you go to each individual store, each individual store will have a stamp and you'll stamp it. Uh, and you can have the option to purchase a block and it's that store's block. So the idea is when you're done, you will end up with at least 12, 12 and a half inch blocks. And when you visit each store, they will have their own finishing kit. And if you like a finishing kit, you can purchase it from that particular uh, store that is involved with the Shop Hop. Um, another thing I wanna mention is when you do go in and you get this stamped, uh, at the bottom, you'll see that you have your name, address, and phone number. At the last store that you go to, you turn it in. There are room for comments. We do appreciate the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> we do read them, actually, from cover to cover. And we make changes based on those recommendations or comments that you guys leave behind. And one of the big changes we made last year was to use daylight savings time because you guys wanted some more or extra hour here and there. Um, then, once this is left at the last shop that you visit, completely filled out, you will be entered into a drawing in November, a week later, and there are several grand prizes. We do have a Bernina Q16 long arm with a folding table that has been sponsored by Bernina of America and Hoover's. Uh, that retail value is almost $10,000 on that machine. Brother Innovis BQ1350. It's sponsored by Brother and Pocono So and Vac. And uh, Bernina Chair is being sponsored by the Warm Up Shop, um, and that has a retail value of $600. And we do have a box of Quilter's Dream Batting uh, with a retail value of $150. And we had various sponsors. When you go to each individual store, too, you are also given a raffle ticket to raffle off an item. Um, each store raffles off a basket or an item that you'll be entered into, and everybody that went to that store gets a ticket to do so. So we hope to see you there. In addition to that, I was talking about this, which is your passport that you will bring from store to store and have stamped. Um, in your first, um, when you buy the passport, you get a plastic, clear plastic bag that you could travel around with you with your merchandise. And in there is going to be directions for a passport block. And this is one of the blocks that you can use. In addition to that, every store will have their own block. And for Pocono Sew and Vac, this is Pocono Sew and Vac's block. So we will have the kits kitted together so that you can purchase your passport with this block and the fabric to make it, and this kit here and the fabric to make it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please call the store. We'll be happy to answer any questions for you. Um, this year, it is the 20th year, believe it or not. So. Let's get into the interesting stuff. Lauren, let's start getting into this fabric. So welcome to the great reveal. These are 2023 Hoffman collection called Walk in the Woods and Eggnog for your viewing pleasure. So let's see what we got here. Oh, this is one. And these are just coming freshly delivered 
from UPS today. So you can get a really nice view of them. Lauren, another thing I wanted to suggest that if you guys come down and you're really interested in looking at what the fabrics look like, why don't you stop in and look at the cutting table? We have sneak peek and we have the different fabrics listed with the numbers. In addition to that, a sample of each one, which is great. And you could see the range of colors that it goes by. Here you have some very light ones and you have some darker ones. And then you have a mix of the creams with blues and rich, deep rusts and reds. Um, another thing, too, that I wanted to mention, something that we did on our papers, so there's no confusion, we actually list the item number and the color. So if there is any confusion whatsoever, all you have to do is look that up and you will find, that's the SKU number, you will find the exact uh, pattern of the fabric that you are dealing with. And we did that for the passport block right there in blue. And we did it for our Pocono sew and vac right there in blue. So there will be no confusion as to what color to use. And if you don't like what this is at, you can always use your own legend and make up whatever you want or mix fabrics that you have in your stash already as well. Oh, look at how light that one is. That one's a light one. Let me show you the different light ones that we have. So even though these look the same, this is like a fern, this is a floral, and this is just, to me, reminds me of paint marks or stripes. So even though they're in the same color you, they do have different items printed on them. For light, same thing, it has a little floral print on it, but this one's done in the beiges, muted colors, and that one's done in the blue. Take out some of the darker, richer tones. We have, of course, that brown. We have this red. Yeah, it's probably too much uh, shining through. Yeah, look at the difference. This is a really neat one. I love these. These are my favorite. Um, you can really see this has like a combination of those other colors in there, which are really cool. Now we do have another one that looks a lot like that, but again, I was telling you that the background design is actually different. So this one actually has ferns and again on it. And even though it's different types of ferns, look how much it looks like this one. And the design is actually very different. And you're seeing accents here of navy going into purple, going into gray and mauves and wines, really rich colors. Now, look at these two. These two are identical in the actual print, but again, this is on a beige, creamy, muted background. This one has greens and browns, and then again, darker, almost like a nutmeg color, but they're actually the same design. There's some really interesting prints, and I mean, I think they named it appropriately by saying a walk in the woods, 
because you certainly get that idea, especially from this one. Look at all the um, mustards and reds. I mean, to me, it looks like a walk in the woods in the fall, don't you think? We wanted to get some things open so we could actually show you the true, true colors of the whole combination. So again, talking about the dark, uh, not dark colors, more solid colors with that um, salt finish that you see. What they do is they throw the dye on these and then they throw salt on top of it. And that's how you get the different creations of the dark veining and then the light veining. We have that in the dark blue for you, the dark chocolate and this really like rusty reddish color. In addition to that, there's one more, and this is like a lighter blue based on it. So these are like the solids in the whole collection. Now we add more of our rust. So this is another one. We do have this in a lighter color as well that we showed you previously. It, it's a lighter beige. This is one of my favorites. It's a Whirly Q circles reminds me it's almost like of soda. yeah yeah exactly that's a great way to describe it and then a lot of people do like paisley so there's some paisley thrown in here with really nice forest rust colors your greens your browns your beiges your orange a little cranberry just a little bit of everything in there and again this is one of the focus fabrics. Um, I really, really do love this one. Um, and again, when we were talking about one of the focus fabrics, these are like the two focus fabrics that the whole collection was really built on. Um, it is lovely. We hope that you do like it. You know we do like to make you all happy. And when you do purchase your uh, passport block at here at Pocono Sew and Vac, we always like to include a little gift for you. Last year, we did those little charms that you put together and you can make apron, uh, aprons, earrings, or um, you can use it as a charm on your cutter. Well, this year, our free gifts are in here. And not gonna tell you what they are, but we got a whole delivery of them today to put in all your blocks. I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to say that we look forward to seeing you. Again, if you have questions, please call us. We'll be happy to answer them. We expect to see you September 1st, uh, starting to purchase your passport um, passports for the Shop Hop. In addition to that, that goes all through and up to the Shop Hop. So I know some of you were latecomers last year and we were able to fix you up and get you a passport so you could enjoy the festivities. Here is now the collection laid out for your enjoyment. So you can see how it goes from a very rich black, uh, maroony colors, chestnut brown, blue deep Aegean sea, uh, the ocean, and then we get into lighter colors here in the blues and the beiges. And then again, this takes you in with uh, some dark colors and light backgrounds and dark backgrounds. Our um, bubbles, like Lauren said, for soda, our beautiful, beautiful um, paisley. Again, this just looks like a bunch of trees in the forest to me. I love this one because it has a little bit of everything, rusts and things like that. But the collection was mainly built on these two right here, one in uh, the maroon and rust backgrounds and one in the blue, like I was talking about the Aegean Sea backgrounds. And then here's also the same thing, but with a different design on it. So there's lots of different things. Um, everybody will have their own finishing kit again, so you can admire and take pictures and actually go up there and look at the quilts when you're at the quilt shop. Please come on board. I wanted to show you, this is actually our um, Shop Hop quilt from two years ago. And Lauren, can we take a look at the Shop Hop quilts from last year? Sure. Let's just walk this way. And now this year with the new reveal of the colors that we just showed you, which is a beautiful um, batik. So you see how every year nothing looks the same. 
Every Shop's Quilt looks different. We look forward to seeing you all. Thank you so much for being our uh, customers and your patronage. Um, can't wait to see you stop in, say hello. Thank you so much.